Hello! Today we're gonna launch a satellite into orbit but uh, since a real rocket is really expensive I'm gonna use a game called Kerbal Space Program and the rocket's gonna be controlled by some Python code. So let's start. First let's build a rocket. Here is the vehicle assembly building where you build rockets and you can build all kinds of stuff like Mars rovers and colonized planet and all kinds of stuff but we're gonna build a little communication satellite. So here is a little probe and it needs a an communication antenna. Communication and we take that antenna and it needs power so we have to put some solar panels on it let's have one on each side and it should have a fuel tank and an engine also because I want it to be boost itself up in space the last bit so it doesn't need the booster stage with it so by doing that you don't contribute to more space junk that will float around in orbit yeah, now the satellite is ready and here I have a plugin called Kerbal Engineer you can see a lot of information about the weight of the satellite and how much thrust it have and delta V and that's important yeah and we gonna have a booster to send it up to space also and a fairing to protect it while launching there but I want a clamshell design and a little bit stronger ejection force there and now let's build a booster first fuel tank uh, this one and engine uh, there are two engines here but this one has a vectoring gimbal it means it can control it the tilt of the motor there for controlling so let's put it here and then we have to have something to hold it on on the launch pad so let's take two of these and here we can see the delta V and it's plenty of delta V to get into orbit and here on this side here is the staging we want this clamp to be released the same time as engine is turned on and then it's the fairing and then it releases the satellite and turns on the satellite engine that's fine let's rename it to let's say comsat6 and let's write some code for it before we launch it so the code first the game you can get it from kerbalspaceprogram.com and I recommend you buy it it's a really good game it's one of the best there is I think uh, and it has a lot of mods and plugins also like the one I used to control the rocket with Python code it's called KRPC and uh, you can program it in different languages like C sharp C++ Java Lua and uh, like I did here Python and there is uh, documentation on how to control different things in the rockets and here is the code I wrote it's just very it's very simple 
Uh, there is people that have done really cool stuff like landing SpaceX rockets on sh drone ships in the ocean and things like that in this game. But uh, the only thing I do did is like launch a satellite in orbit and play some MP3 files that tells what's happening while I do it. And here is the code. So look really good because I'm not gonna post it anywhere else. But uh, let's see what it does. Yeah. Now we have some Python code. So let's go to the launch pad. And let's me get the code up and running here. Wait, first I have to enable a plugin here called KRPC. Uh, start. Now I can connect with the Python script to run the rocket. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We have ignition and liftoff for COMSAT 6. So far so good. What it will do now is uh, go straight up to 15,000 meters before it starts its turn. Because it's... Uh, it's going to space and you don't and it goes not with full throttle either because you don't want full throttle in an atmosphere it's uh, a lot of drag in the atmosphere that's why you hear on uh, rocket launches and when space shuttle launched and things like that they say you clear to go with throttle up that's uh, because it's reached the uh, thinner atmosphere so drag isn't that much anymore So we're coming up to 15,000 meters soon, and then it's gonna start turning. And yeah, this is really cool game. This you can do all kinds of stuff, build probes, satellites, and and man the lunar bases and all kinds of stuff. Starting gravity turn. There is the gravity turn started. And here is another view. You can see it from the side. This, pla this planet here we are on is called Kerbin. It's not Earth, it's smaller. There, there are mods so you can get the uh, Earth and Mars and things like that but uh, in stock game uh, it's the planet is called Cur and uh, the other there are other planets also Mars is called Duna here and things like that and Moon is called Moon and things like that but it's a real cool game and here you can see how much fuel are left in the stage and here is the apapsis it's the highest point it will reach go with throttle up there it did full throttle first stage Etty Fairing separation. Deploy satellite. Now the booster is gonna fall back and crash into the planet and not pollute the space.
here is tap up this what it do now is raising this to a hundred thousand coasting now it's coasting it's called that means it uh, just uh, goes to this point without using the motor because it's uh, it's at this point you want to do the second burn like with real rockets this game like simulate real world very well and what's nice you can fast forward in this game so you don't have to wait and that's a good thing if you go to the outer planets like Jupiter in this game it's called Jewel and things like that soon we're reaching Apopsis now it's suborbital so that means it doesn't have an orbit and soon it will start starting orbital insertion burn we are in a stable orbit there it reaches an orbit deploying solar panels Deploying main antenna. Aiming antenna. Mission completed successfully. Comset 6 is now online. And the mission is complete. We have a nice orbit. Parapsis 100,000 meter. And apapsis 103,000 meters. Yeah, this is how you launch a rocket. Goodbye.